So I'm sitting here on my sofa at home, and the other day I'm trying to work out like what coaster credits I have. My makeup looks shit. It's like right towards the end of the day. Yeah, and I can't put you on there because like you're in the dressing gown. And then my mum goes and pulls out a bunch of stuff from like seriously old trips. So there's like this poster from the year 2000 from Port of Ventura of like some characters on it and like a little roller coaster at the bottom. And then there's actually like an old vintage park map as well from the year 2000. I can't believe that she actually has this. Like, that's super cool. I don't know. Have you got an Eftelin park map as well? No, not Oh. She'll have to look and see if she can find one. She probably has got one. And then this Efteling postcard from 1999. Oh, it's the entrance ticket. Holy shit. That's massive. Nothing on the back either, so it's not even like scanning. It's like an actual physical proper ticket. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm being bemused that you have this stuff. There's even like a, a thing. I mean, I'm going to look at it more. In a minute, but like we've got like the departure date of when we went. So this is the first time I went to Efteling. So Sunday the 8th of August, 1999. And apparently four days, adults, £99. <laughs> Children, £79. Holy sugar. Um, so it was coach it direct from the local area. So I've been picking up and out this bridge for me. Convenient channel crossings with via the Euro Tunnel. Three nights accommodation in a three star hotel, all rooms private en suite. Continental breakfast included. One day pass to Efteling. Oh my god, she's got a Fantasia Land park map as well. I'll show that in a second. Um full service and experienced travel courier in resort. Oh, an optional excursion to Fantasyland, so that must be doing more in Fantasyland as well. Also, I mean, 99 quid, and you're getting the entrance ticket one day to Efteling, three nights accommodation, all of your travel. I mean, I'm hopefully going to go with Cara events at some point soon. Um, and that's like £90? Yeah, not £90. Or it might be like a few pound more than that or something like that. And that's just for the, well, it's for the coach and the channel crossing and the entrance ticket, which I thought was really good. Because you can get a ticket with Discover Holland to Efteling. Any station in Holland, 60 quid, and it's got your entry price. Depending where you're coming from, like if, obviously if you're staying fairly nearby, then there's no point really getting that one. It'd be cheaper just to book your train separate and get your entrance ticket separate. Um, but if you're staying somewhere like Amsterdam or somewhere that's quite far away, it does work out. Um, or at least, like, by a few pounds, it might be, like, slightly more expensive than if you do it yourself. But for the convenience and not having to pay separate for the trains and the buses and stuff, it just makes life a bit easier. Oh, my God, my makeup is really bad. Ugh. Um, oh, my God, yeah, this is just so weird to look at, like, Southway... South News Holidays or something was who with who it who it was with. I need to like find out if these things still exist. They probably don't. It's like a Dutch treat for kids. I oh my god, this is just so weird seeing this. I don't know. It's probably gonna like reverse things, but so I don't know if this is gonna like work very well. Charming Dutch Resort of Valkenburg. What, have we been on this particular trip twice? Or Valkenburg? Why is Valkenburg? Is it in Rotterdam? Yeah, but whereabouts? Is it like the name of the area or...? No, it's a place. I've got caves now. Oh, right, okay. Oh, the southeast corner of Holland. Yeah, I've not been there then. 
Well, I've not been there recently then. Near picturesque Waterville on River Ghoul or something. And apparently it's the whole tr hotel wall room. Not a clue, obviously. But this is like so many years ago. This is just so cool actually looking at it. And like all of the old pricings and stuff. Oh my god, that is actually insane. There's even like my mum's notes from when she was planning it on there, like a few little like handwritten stuff. With like prices and stuff. So I'm presuming we went with Alan Nan Nan. So that would have been three adults, one child. So for all of that it would have been three hundred and seventy six pounds. <laughs> I mean obviously I don't think that's that probably didn't include the Fantasia ticket, I take it. I'm guessing you had to pay extra for that. Yeah. Yeah. How much was the was the Fantasia land ticket once upon a time? Can't remember. Probably a lot cheaper than it is now. <laughs> to be fair, it's still not too expensive. I just need to actually get back there. Because so I've not been since, apparently, <laughs> 1999 or 2000 or whenever this one was. When was this one? Must be 99. Oh my god, it's just like, it looks so cool. Oh, there we go. There's the Fantasia Land prices. <coughs> Way back when, it was £17.50 for adults, which, uh, and that's classed as 1 metre and 1.2 basically and above, um, which is not even classed really. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things you can't get on unless you're 1 4 now, at least in the UK. Uh, and children were £7.50, and if they were under two years old, they were free, which I think is still the case. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's just, it's madness. Hypermarket wine warehouse. Oh, I see that there's a, a trip for kids and a trip for the parents, apparently. And have breakfast each morning. Blah, 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 blah. Colorado Adventure. I don't know what ones of these are, like, still in place or not, but here's some of the rides that it's mentioning. It's mentioning Colorado Adventure, Galaxy on the Hollywood Tour. That's Fantasia Land, so put in the comments if any of them are still there. Um, or what you thought of them, if you've managed to ride them. Uh, da, 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 da. It's just weird, obviously I don't remember everything from when I was a little kid, I remember bits of it. And, uh, day one. Da, 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 da. Fairy tale castles, wonderful sights. Spectacular white knuckle rides. Sorry, I know I'm like waffling and I'm like reading at the same point. Bear with me, I'm li just literally like she pulled the stuff out and I was like, oh my god, I need to film this. Because this is just, it's so bizarre that it's still, still got it basically. Sort of makes me wish I've held, held on to some uh, other paperwork and stuff from trips, but because I've gone to so many places now, I just sort of like I keep like tickets and stuff, and then get rid of all the the main sort of detaily stuff. Yeah, so it's travel scope. Wow. Madness. And it's got all skin conditions and stuff. So it's like the whole like proper document. Show you the front of this one. Okay, so Dutch retreat. 
or Dutch treat for kids. Forget the kids, it's a treat for the adults. And uh, she's just pulled out also Fantasia land map as well from uh, what it was. I think it's a lot smaller than it is now. It certainly looks a lot smaller than it seems in videos and stuff that I've seen. Let's just that a bit more. So we've got like a space centre there. Hollywood tour, galaxy. Waltz or something. Oh, Vesta Colorado Adventure. That I must have gone in unless... I, no, I suppose I would probably know enough to be tall enough then. I was quite a tall kid. Mystery Castle. Yeah, there's really not a lot there, considering what's there now. And that's just what I know from videos and stuff. And they've got, like, what shows there was. Oh, my gosh. Things that are new, 1999. This is just madness. Pirates film, 3D Pirates film. Presumably similar to what they had at Thorpe. Do you, did we see the Pirates film at Fantasia Land? Was it any good? Well, from what you, if you do remember at all, was it as good as four or? Okay, so the same as Thought Park's old pirate show. That one I've seen, obviously. To be honest, I I wish they they kept it. I didn't like the bit with the bees as a kid, but I do wish they kept it as opposed to getting rid of it for what they have now. The the. Angry Birds thing, so it's kind of boring. It's alright for the kids, I suppose. And like, quite a simple front cover. Hmm. Dropping the thing of the old Fantasia Land map. Proper vintage stuff. And I'll show you a bit more of the Port of Ventura one just to. So you can see it properly. Sorry, I know the camera's at a weird angle. I would cut it, but I can't be asked to cut this video. So I'm probably just going to put this straight on YouTube because I think it's so bloody cool. That people need to see this. Mm, some red moose in it. Random mouse. Teacup star right there. Presumably some little roller coaster, maybe it's like I don't know, it could be like a go kart type thing or like even dodgems, but it looks like it's close to me. And then uh let's have a look. The Mexico area stuff, so it's got all the numbers, it's not got all of the specific attractions labelled, but there will be a list of them obviously somewhere in here. Definitely ridden that wooden coaster a hundred percent because I remember that one. So that was my first wooden coaster, as far as I'm aware, unless you remember any other wooden coasters I've been on. Now. What's that wild mouse maybe? Obviously it's been years since I've been there. That one I wouldn't have rode. I probably would have been too short for that. And well I'm presuming, did I ride like the big red one? Hmm? 
So, oh my god, there's even like a tick list thing. Obviously, it's not actually ticked in this case. But it was showing you all of the different attractions that there was. How many of them are still there, I'm not too sure. I know there's lots of like other ones that aren't listed here that are there now. Like, I can't see Shambhala listed. Obviously... Like the whole Ferrari land thing wasn't a thing then because it's only last few years. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff that's I've heard people mention obviously from the park that obviously wasn't there back then. It's just weird seeing what it was. I mean, obviously, I remember bits as a kid, but not fully. And wow, this is a long video. <laughs> um, yeah, so I should probably leave it at that. Uh, is there any, like, obviously I know you don't want the camera pointed at you, but, um, Fantasia Land or Port of Ventura, what do you reckon was, or Efteling, what was your favourite and why? Way back when. Yeah, Efteling, so because I'd ask it repeated just in case you hear because it's unusual and different I do agree with that to be perfectly honest I mean obviously I've not been to Port Aventura in quite a few years in Fantasia land since then at all um, but and I've been to Efteling now three times technically if you count different days four times <laughs> I love that park I want to go again I want to go again on the 4th of August, but it depends if my tax rebate comes through in time. Um, yeah, well, I've paid for you to go, so it's your turn to pay for me. You ain't going to walk around Efteling. Well, I've walked around there before. Yeah, that was a really long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> so it's your turn to pay. I don't think you'd be able to walk around it now. It's fucking huge. It was huge then. Yeah, but I think it's bigger now. Trust me. Put it this way. They've just announced the 19-acre expansion. Oh, there you go. To be fair, though, I would like to see your reaction to the Baron. It's short, but it's amazing. Well, going into that park, they had slight flat escalators get you into the park. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. That's what they used to have. No, they've got a, a car park and then they've got like a walkway underneath and then there's a really long, like, stretch that you walk up next to the car park. Yeah, well, it's a big long stretch, but it was... Yeah, yeah they, they don't have escalators anymore. They've got escalators at you... Escalators? They're not even escalators, they're travelators at um, Universal. Yeah, well, they did have them. Yeah. It is an awesome park. And also back then I couldn't find anything that I would eat. <laughs> I remember that much. Yeah, they had them like donut things with lots of sugar on that one. Them big funny things. Oh the big circle spiral things. They had them there. Yeah. Going into the park even. I have to look for them next time I go. I used to get them all the time in Spain. I go with family. I love them things. Yeah. And did anything else? Of random memories from years gone by of theme parks? No. Terra Mythical or Port of Ventura? I have to find the Terra Mythical stuff as well, I think, at some point. And Mundamar. <laughs> so it's got nothing to do with the ride she just votes for gladiators although I do remember at Terra Mythica uh, I think we've been, have we been there twice 
think we have, you know. I think we've been there twice. We've definitely been to Monday Night. Yes, we must have been to Terramitma twice as well. Not necessarily. Well, probably. Um, I remember definitely at least once at Terra Mitica, there was like a log flume and it turns you backwards. And I saw that it turns you backwards before like the big drop when I was a kid and I was like, oh my god, that looks so cool. I want to go on that. So I was like, Mom, can we go on the log flume? And like demanded that she come on it with me. And uh... Oh, <laughs> nope um, so I demanded that she come on it with me and she did and then she fucking shit herself went, yes you did you freaked out I didn't know it was going to go like this I remember you freaking out because I found it hilarious no that was you oh <laughs> no don't even lie you was freaking out because I wanted to go on it and I was watching it and you hadn't watched it. Because you were too busy staring at all the bloody gladiators, probably. Bye, YouTube.